I'm Masako X, and I'm here to teach you about the wonders, marvels, and trials that goes into making your own original character. So cool! Now before we begin, I'd like to bring to your attention the marvelous workings of today's sponsor for this videogram, NordVPN. With servers based in over 60 countries, their military-grade encryption technology keeps me and you safe from nefarious ideas and ne'er-do-wells who wish to tell you the wrong ways to write your own original characters as well as steal your personal information. Not cool. Easy to use and simple to install, you can get started in a couple of clicks and with a few clicks more, visiting nordvpn.com slash Masako, you're able to get a three year plan, that's right, three years, on top of that. If you then enter the code Masako as well at checkout, you get a bonus month of views for free. So give NordVPN a go by visiting nordvpn.com slash M-A-S-A-K-O and use the code Masako for that free month and get your thinking caps a buzzing in comfort. Thank you! In this short informational video, I shall be breaking down the steps that you can take to make an original character which is both genuine, plausible, as well as entertaining or interesting to look at. Let's begin! Welcome back! To begin, you need to understand the world your characters are going to live in. Is this world the following? A. Something you know everything about. B. You know some things about from what you recall. C. You recently just discovered this universe, or D, I just felt like it. If your response is either C or D, then you are wrong and that you should STOP! Wait before you create. It is imperative that your character fits inside this universe like a glove, so that you do not inflict upon the world the dreaded disease that is the eye roll. Before you commit to making an OC, get to know the series that you are wishing to represent. Watch several episodes or take notice of a character you wish to adapt or are inspired by. Once you have spent a good amount of time absorbing the lore of your chosen show, then you may start to jot down ideas in your conveniently placed notebook which accompanies this videogram. Now we may move on to step two, thusly. This is now step two. If you wish to make your character the strongest person in this lore, STOP! Try to balance your character like a finely tuned set of antique scales. All these two things. Perfect balance makes people smile. Have your character convey certain flaws within their personality which conveys a particular quirk or internal struggle. Something that can give them a character arc which allows them to grow over the course of a story. Something to strive to over a story's duration within the world of fan fiction. For example, my OC Ranch here may be the more logical child in the Dragon Ball universe, but she is still a child. As a result, she is prone to tantrums and thanks to her say in nature, she can get impulsive and this may end up with rash decisions being made. Like turning Super Saiyan 3 even though she knows it's useless. Silly ranch. Yeah, you're silly. By instilling negative or less than perfect qualities within your OC, you're able to increase the plausibility of your creation within the universe and will lead to the ultimate prize which is endearment. Endearment is the holy grail for any aspiring creative. This means that your creation is charming enough to make them memorable to your audience. Take time thinking up of a personality which you yourself would like to be around, or if you wish to go for an edgier aspect, make sure it's not too in your face or repetitive. Instead, eke it out over time. By taking these steps on board, your character will be a likeable soul with a believable goal, and will be popular and everyone wants to be their friend. Neat. If you have followed parts one and two, then part three should come naturally. In short, avoid making your character too much of a visual standout. Overly sexy attire or different clothing, all together from the universe your OC lives in, will undo all your hard work personality and knowledge-wise. Look to what other characters wear in the show, what kind of fashion is there, and then add your creative spin on them, which is in keeping with your OC. That way, it would make sense if another character were to say, borrow your OC's clothes. They would fit right in. When it comes to what is alluring, be tasteful. The imagination is a powerful thing. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Use yours well and your audience will use theirs well as well. So remember, know your world, balance your character, and be real with look and feel. Got it? Good! Now stop and check out some of our other videos on this channel. And until next time, take care and good night. Thank you.